she told us that she'd been locked in that container uh, for two months. Uh, it's just only by God's grace that she's alive, if you'll know the absolute truth. A missing woman found chained up in South Carolina. Investigators say she was held captive for months, as you heard, locked inside a shipping container. Well, she was found this morning in Spartanburg County, which is about 160 miles from Atlanta. And tonight, her boyfriend is still missing. Deputies scouring the property in search of clues. Well, Fox News' Nathalie Pozo is the only local reporter live in Spartanburg County. And Nathalie, what exactly are deputies looking for on that property? Well, Rustin, I spoke with the sheriff earlier tonight, and he tells me the woman who was found chained up inside of that metal container told investigators there possibly may be four bodies on this 100-acre property where she was found. Investigators spent hours searching the property and are still there right now. You can actually see some of the cars making their way out of the property there, gathering evidence. The sheriff tells me he hopes that they find her missing boyfriend alive. Kind of shocking. You don't really know what's going on around you. Got across the road from you. A community horrified after the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office finds a missing woman alive, chained to a metal container on this 100-acre property in Woodruff, South Carolina. She was chained around her neck like a dog, and she was in a small cage that she'd been kept in for what she says was about two months. Kayla Brown and her boyfriend, Charles Carver, were last seen in August. Deputies spent hours searching the property Thursday. Investigators found Carver's car, but there's no sign of him. By grace of God only. That's it. I mean, because, uh, you know, she, if she'd been locked in that thing for two months, there's no reason why she should be alive, but by God's grace. Sheriff Chuck Wright says Todd Kolhep, a registered sex offender following a 1987 kidnapping conviction in Arizona, was arrested in connection with the incident. She told the investigators when she came out of that container there were possibly four more bodies on this property. I don't know, you know if what she's saying has any merit. We're going to find out. We're trying to make sure um, that, you know, that we don't have a serial killer on our hands. Yeah, we'll be praying for her family and her. And if there is anybody else that way, we'll be praying for their family. Hope they, hope they find something. And the sheriff's office tells me Brown is doing as well as she can be and that they've talked to her briefly, but they do want to give her some time since she's been through something just so traumatic. The sheriff also tells me that as soon as the sun comes up tomorrow, they'll be back out here at this property doing whatever it takes to find Carver and to figure out what led to all of this. Reporting live tonight in Spartanburg County in South Carolina, Nathalie Pozo, Fox 5 News. All right, so lots of questions. Thank you, Nathalie. Atlanta